Brendan, a 3-1 defeat in the end. Was that a fair reflection, do you think, of, of the 90 minutes? I, d I, didn't feel, I didn't feel it was a, a fair reflection. I thought we started the game very well. Uh, the keeper makes a good save to, to stop us going 1-0 in front. But we, we were playing with confidence, we were moving the ball well. We give away another cheap goal from a corner, um, which has been a huge problem for us this season. And that's the reality of it. And then for five, ten minutes, we were on the back foot, but we walked away back into the game again. It's still a threat. And then, like I said, the second goal, we, we should never concede that. Uh, so 2-0 down makes it difficult, but in fairness to the players, they kept fighting and kept playing with the spirit that we want to play with. The third goal, we, we can do a little bit more, but the actual strike was world class. There's not a great deal you can do about that. Um, but we kept going and then we get, uh, we get the 3-1. And like I said, the players, they didn't unravel. They kept going, they kept fighting. And uh, as I said, we finished the game. I'm pleased with the players. A lot of them haven't played for a period of time. But I'm also a little frustrated with the, uh, the ease of the, the two goals. Yeah, you made, you made eight changes and there were some partnerships that we haven't seen before in the Premier League like Daka and Ian Acho together and, and Mendy and Sumari in, in midfield. Were you pleased with, with aspects of, of how they played given that many of them haven't played? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Well, Kells and, and Patson have played in Europe together so they're not, uh, not totally new. They played in training together. Uh, but they both worked very hard and they were a threat in, in the game. When it comes to someone at the other end of their Leicester City career, you brought on Lewis Brunt for his Premier League debut. Um, what did you say to him and, and, and how impressed were, were you with his minutes yeah. on the pitch? He's played more as a sort of defensive player, um, but he's one that can handle the ball and he's aggressive and you see he's got good size in the game. Yeah, he's, he's worked very, very hard for the, uh, he's worked very, very hard for the, the under-23s. He's played it exceptionally well over the course of the season, given him a taste of it away from home, you know, you don't want them always in the comfort of their own home. You've got to come away, you've got to feel the pressure of playing and taking the ball, being able to handle the ball in front of 60 odd thousand. I thought he did that very well. So, uh, so yeah, it's nice for him. And now it's really, he should hopefully use that as a motivation and, uh, and look to push on now. He came in at the same time as Jamie Vardy. I'm guessing important minutes for him ahead of Thursday night. Yeah, yeah, we want Jimmy getting game time so he can give us more in the game. But it's important just to get those uh, get those legs working and get them moving again. And Kalechi Inacho's goal was a was an excellent moment and an important strike for him. Very good strike. That was a very good goal. Uh, he, he caused them a problem. Uh, lost one or two balls, which he can be better with. But overall, he keeps fighting. He keeps running, and it was a very very good goal. And just finally, Kinnan Dewsbury Hall and James Madison weren't here. Um, what's the reason for that? And is there any? Doubt for them ahead of Thursday. Yeah, yeah, there's a doubt. Uh, Keenan with his calf, so we'll see how he is over the next couple of days. So he's getting treatment in that, and then matters with his hip. He's obviously had a, a hip problem. So, uh, so yeah, so that was something that, um, that that was something that's kept them two out. So they're getting treatment back at the training ground.